Hey guys, I don't know why I clap every time I start the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is obvious. Um, so today, well tonight because it is 7:48 February 5th. Um I'm going to be filming my reaction to Kylie announcing the birth and the welcoming of her baby girl. Um Anyone who knows me knows I love the Kardashians and I had this feeling since her show, um, Life of Kylie, that she was pregnant. And I don't know, people will say what they want, but to me, I feel like they're genuine people and they made a business and career. They started somewhere. Like, you know, even though it had to do with Kim, they all separately went their ways and created their own brand and their own thing that's, like, specific for them. Um, I don't know. I'm just super, like, I'm so excited for her. And I was thinking, like, she's 20. And people will say she's too young. Um, she should have waited. She's still trying to figure out her life and all this stuff. And it's like... When you think about it, she graduated high school. She has her own business. She has her own place. She can afford to take care of a kid. Some just born to be mothers. And some people don't understand that because of their own personal views. But I feel like if it works for you and if that's what you want and you can take care of a child, then why not? That's your choice. Um, Common sense is not always common sense. And I say that because everyone wanted a confirmation for sure whether or not she was having a baby. And it's like, if you just think logically, she, dis not disappears, but she, you know, she goes away for a while. She's not in the paparazzi. She's not out in public. Um, they probably got like one photo of her like clearly without them trying to be creepers and sneak up on her and stuff like that um of her while she was pregnant and it's like it's common sense if there's a history of them doing interviews and them saying no this didn't happen or you know denying it front out then i don't understand why people were still like confused and a lot of the times i feel like people who necessarily don't like the kardashians they don't understand they always think that it's a publicity like thing like they need money from this and they need money from that and i honestly feel like you know if they were in their shoes how would they react to a situation because it's different they're born like you know kylie was born into the, that world that world of you know paparazzi and everyone watching your every move and your life being you know shown on television like she grew up in front of the camera so i don't understand why people are so judgmental on the fact that she whether she was or wasn't having a baby um so yeah i don't know i just i did my makeup i used some kylie products um and i wrote, wore this rose shirt in honor of her daughter um it was so funny because when the video, I forgot what I was doing. I think I saw, I was on Twitter and I saw just a little glimpse and it said Kylie. And I was like, what? Like, I was just like shot right to it. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I can't be. Um, and then my friend Asia called me and she was like, obvious. What is the name of the baby? But I was just cracking up because people were like, I don't think she's pregnant. And I'm like, I think she's pregnant. I just think she wants to keep that to herself. And she wants that to be private. Like, if you watched her show, Life of Kylie, she explained how much of her childhood took, like, was taken away when she became more popular. You know, because it was at first just the focus was on Kim, Chloe, Courtney. Um, Kendall was modeling, you know, and Kylie was kind of just living her life so when she started making changes and being more noticed and started her makeup brand then that drew more attention to her and i feel like naturally she's probably um to herself like has a this group of like people you know super caring but people wouldn't know that because of the outer version 
that they see and um i don't know i just think i don't know i just don't understand i don't understand how people think that like just so negatively about someone if you don't know them and you can judge them on the decisions that they make and when they make these changes to themselves or they go through these situations whether it is to please themselves or to please others someone's always gonna have something to say about it so i don't know i'm just super excited for her to be on that journey and and to just I don't know I'm glad I've seen a lot of reactions and I've heard a lot of people that I talk to um my friends and other youtubers that I watch um them react and say they have a lot of respect for how she handled it and I mean I guess I understand why they could say that because they always or people think that like you know she would have sold her video of you know sold a picture and stuff like that and Kylie just came out with a simple statement like, you know, this is a glimpse into the past nine months of my life. And, you know, she didn't want to keep that in the dark, but it's like, that's special. You know, giving, have, carrying your first child, you don't want the stress and as, amount, um, as much attention as she gets on top of her family. Could you imagine being pregnant during that? Like, no wonder they tuck themselves away because someone's always gonna have something to say. I don't know so I'm gonna go through really quick on my like thought of like how this happened so I think it was episode let me see I'm gonna go through here really fast I'm gonna go to her season basically on um, I think it was the last episode when Kylie Jordan and her mom they went to um, Peru I believe for um the the girl that they um the little girl that got the surgery for cleft lip and they had did like a a um a ritual not a ritual but like a i believe it was a native like american um tribe they did like a ceremony basically and it was okay so i found the clip well, kind of. It's like Life of Kylie recap. It's from episode 8. And it says, um, the girls meet a shaman in Peru who has... It says bad news for Jordan. It wasn't bad news for Jordan. It was just like her focusing on herself. And I'm all about the universe literally putting things in place for a certain reason. I'm excited to hear what they have to say. Kisses, there's no love. <laughs> worry about you because i don't want you to go okay so that clip kind of focused on jordan but there was kylie after and it was talking about how someone's like being in love with her and um uh, i wish i could find the actual click of clip of what the shaman said i'm like a hopeless romantic so i feel like just seeing how the show portrayed her to be about travis even though they didn't say it was Travis, I was pretty sure it was him. It was like so genuine to see like, I don't know, everyone wants that, to, like that, that instant connection, you know? And I don't know, I just feel like I'm happy for Kylie. Um, it's so cool. I can't wait to be a mom one day, but um, I'm just super excited. Like that's dope. And I think the way she handled it and the way she took time for herself, um to enjoy her pregnancy that's a plus because who would want negativity during their pregnancy so right now we're going to get into my reaction i'm going to watch it on my laptop and um it will be playing down here for everyone else and uh, let's get into it uh, let's type on the computer For you, Kylie. Right there. It's gonna be okay. Oh my there you go. I'm waiting for you. Oh my god, Chris, she's beautiful. Yeah. 
tiny. Look at her, you guys. Look at her. Look at her. Whatever your name is going to be. This is how I found out about you. Your mother and I were living our lives, having fun. She met your father and they just hit it off. Chemistry. And just like how she carries herself. I was in your mom's bathroom with her. And she took a little test. We were sitting at, We were sitting in the tub. Yeah. You were sitting on the tub. I was standing, standing by the counter. And then how did she say it though? And then she passed it to me after like surprise. Like she just looked at me weird and I'm like, what? Oh. And I didn't know that's what she was doing. Yeah. So when I, she passed yeah. it to me, I was like, I couldn't Dude, I didn't even tell you. <laughs> she like she was like She looked at she gave us a look. I was like, no. This is a baby. teenager and you're just becoming a young adult and there was one thing that your mom knew for sure and that was you <laughs> do you hear those things those bugs Hello. should i do anything else more to the side women are awesome man she said i have something to tell you and i said you're pregnant <laughs> <laughs> obviously i started crying i was so happy i was proud of her i knew this is what she wanted ever since she turned 15. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese fries. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Right. Who got cheese fries? Kevin, did you get cheese fries? Oh, I might have. Oh my god. 
Should we close the window? Yeah, just so we can bask in here. Her laugh, I love it. Oh. Okay, so this is the lady's heart. These are the four chambers of the heart. Oh, can you, can we hear the heartbeat? Yes. It's crazy. It's like Travis right there. Where's your grandbaby? Do you have any messages to the baby? I can't wait to like me. What if she's like anti-makeup? I mean, I would Or she's like my, pro, my, like she can beat her face at age five. It's like one or the other. It's like carving out the brow. She's like, hey. I love you and I love your mom. And she's gonna take amazing care of you. She's gonna cry. <laughs> I'm such she's a baby. She's gonna take I'm amazing like, care of you. And if you are one lucky eyes. girl to be able to call, Kai your mom. Hello. 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 You guys are okay. Me and Heather are four weeks apart. I'm taking a photo the next time. We used to talk about this as a joke like two years ago. Really? I was like, Heather, you're next baby, wait for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so amazing. Hold on. So, I'm 34 weeks today. I've only got a month left. It's so crazy to think that she was pregnant. Uh, you know, two burgers. One for me, one for the baby. And two different fries. Because I like regular fries. And she really likes sweet potato fries. Thank you. <laughs> and then I got enough mac and cheese, greens, one rib. Penelope, I got your plate. Where are you sitting? to your granddaughter. Ah, uh, you've got the best mom and you're so lucky. This is such a blessing. It's gonna be the most amazing journey. I can't wait to see you, meet you, kiss you, love you, mm -hmm. teach you things that maybe only I can teach you and your mom can teach you the things she can teach you. So it definitely takes a village and I learned that along the way. Oh. Hey! <laughs> I'm always here. 
Oh wait, here. it's a little unfocused. Mommy's Hold on. here. Wow. That is the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. I don't know. I just feel like... <sighs> Let me pause this. I don't even know what to say. I mean, it's self-explanatory. Like, that is just life. Like, everyone wants to find that person that you just click with and that gets you, you know? And just to see what happens through that experience. Like, what? She's a mom. And people can say she's 20. My friends, I have friends who had children when they were 16, 17, and they're beautiful. Like, I don't see the, I don't see the problem. I feel like if you were able to take care of your child and love them and be them, be there for them, that's the most important thing. We have one life here. So what we choose to do with it shouldn't matter to anyone else. And I know that's in a perfect world where people just don't have their opinions on certain things or um, not dislike someone for the way they look or what they think they're portraying to be. And, I don't know, I just commend Kylie, I commend her family, I commend her friends for just supporting her and letting her do her thing. Like, she's a lot more mature than a lot of people I know at her age. And for her to just take the time for herself and enjoy her pregnancy and be out of the spotlight and, you know, run a business and, you know, she just did that's just bomb like it's gonna be different to see her as a mom because i watched the kardashians when i was like what 12 13 i'm 21 now so i was young and she i was the same age as kindle and kylie were when they were filming i was watching them so it's trippy to see like how time changes and how their family's grown and I don't know that's just a tight-knit family and that's what it's all about yeah just thinking like I saw her on Tyler Henry and then her show and Tyler Henry telling her like you know whatever situation you're in there's back and forth you know you need to separate yourself from you know it's not healthy and all this stuff and when she broke off whatever that energy was you know she met Travis and then they clicked and like Jordan said like they just click like instantly like chemistry like that is something special and until you experience that then you can't really say anything about it because it's like well they've only been together for a but it's like you don't know unless you've experienced I don't know that made me very happy um congratulations to Kylie and Travis and them welcoming a new addition into their family. That's just hella exciting. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys would like to see more reaction videos. Even though mainly mine is makeup. But let me know. I hope everybody has a beautiful night. 
um, beautiful day whenever I decide to upload this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Peace. Okay, so before I get started, I need to congratulate my beautiful friend, Liv. She is currently in labor. She's not due for another few weeks, but she is 37. Wait, let me double check. Let me double check that I'm correct though, because I don't want to be saying the wrong thing. So January 29th, she was 37 weeks and her due date is the 23rd. And she sent a Snapchat earlier that she's going into early labor. So I wish her an amazing labor. I love you. I'm excited for you to have your baby girl. I hope you have an amazing birth. And February is just the month of babies. It's the month of love. And I'm just super excited. It's so cute. But she put it on her Snapchat. Says we're in early labor, y'all. <laughs> She doesn't like her face to be in the camera. <laughs> you be like this. Hello? No, I don't look down like this. I have a double chin. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm supposed to get over it. God, it's just funny. Okay, I'm going to talk to shit. Because Kaylee, I called her earlier because I needed her help on a shirt. So she called me back, but I figured out what shirt I wanted to wear. This video is done. Congrats to Kylie. I'm just so freaking excited for her. I think I might watch the video again before I edit. I look orange. Hey, some people buy blenders so they can blend. <laughs> what? That was kind of weird, but it just, it went with the thing. You are hilarious. Uh, yeah, but I didn't even finish watching it. I had to stop and call you because I'm so I'm finna finish it, but I had to stop and call you because I was like, I need that dog in the seat up. Thanks, Daddy. I appreciate it. I just got done filming another video, so I'm about to...